I'm going to demonstrate uh, use of the cricothyroid catheter and manujet, which would be used in a situation of a can't intubate, can't ventilate situation, i.e. a plan D in the failed intubation scenarios. So first of all, I'd like to show the manujet. Uh, this is uh, basically high pressure oxygen, uh, which can be adjustable. It's attached either to the wall oxygen outlet or there are other versions where you can attach them directly to the anaesthetic machine. Uh, if you look at the controls of it initially, you can see that it has a green setting, a yellow setting and an orange setting. Uh, the idea is it is adjustable pressure and it can be used from babies right up to adults. For the purpose of an adult uh, situation, normally we'd start at the beginning of the orange uh, setting, which is 2.5 bars. And the way you adjust the settings on it is with this knob, you pull it out. You can see you can adjust it one way or the other. And then once you've got the set pressure that you would like, you then need to lock it again that way. So therefore it is locked and will not move. And then the pressure will come out here. So if we assume that this is a patient who we've unab been unable to intubate and is rapidly desaturating, and we're unable to oxygenate as well, we could pick up a jet ventilation cricothyroid catheter. These come in various sizes. Uh, this is an adult one, it's a 13 gauge, but they also have available uh, paediatric and infant sizes. As you can see, it is just a needle with a fairly rigid catheter uh, inserted. The only thing you need from it is to pick it out of the packet. You also need a syringe and some saline to be able to confirm that you're actually in the trachea. So then you need to identify your landmarks and look for the cricothyroid membrane. So I can identify there is a dip there. Uh, that's a thyroid cartilage and that's a cricoid cartilage and there is the dip where the uh, membrane is. So therefore I collect it all together, I find the space I want to go to and then in a caudal location I insert it until I get air bubbles. I therefore know that I'm actually in the trachea now so I can pull the needle back a little bit and advance it remove it. Now in this situation it's very important to either hold it yourself or get someone to hold on to it so it doesn't fly out when you attach the manujet. So you therefore attach to that knob there, making sure it's secure. Hold it there and then hopefully you can see now that we have got some lung inflation and we're oxygenating the patient. And this would be a temporary measure uh, to be able to oxygenate the patient for perhaps up to 15 minutes. Uh, situations where you wouldn't use this would be if there was complete upper airway obstruction, because in this situation we rely on passive expiration through the upper airway. And if that was completely occluded, what would happen would be the patient would blow up, you would get barotrauma and you'd be at risk of surgical pneumothoraces.